Bionic Gloves presents the Hands-On Golf Podcast, bringing anatomy and hand function to the forefront of glove design to improve comfort, fit, and performance. Bionic is a division of Hilrick and Bradsby Company, makers of Louisville Slugger bats and ball gloves. Bionic gloves are the only gloves designed by a leading orthopedic hand surgeon, Dr. Jim Kleinert. Welcome everyone to this edition of the Bonnie Gloves Hands-On Golf Podcast. My name is Chaz and I'm here with Barry Bonnenfield at the Crescent Hill Golf Course in Louisville, Kentucky. Let's get into this week's email and this comes in from Eric and he's all the way in the Netherlands. And here's his question. He says, Chaz, when I'm around the green, there's sometimes very little green to work with. Chipping is not an option since the ball then still has to land on the taller grass. If it were to land on the edge of the green, it would roll away, way behind the hole. I've been trying a flop kind of shot, and it seems that it is mostly feel involved in the shot. Uh, what are the fundamentals that, uh, that, that play in this role here? Really? Great question, and uh, welcome from the Netherlands. Might be the first person we've uh, ever spoken to from the Netherlands. The flop shot, there are some fundamentals to the flop shot, and yes, there is a lot of feel involved in the flop shot, but one of the key words in golf is options. Options, and options you get more options from your course management than you do after the fact. So we'll talk a little bit about that as well as that flop shot, maybe one other optional shot as well. Eric, thank you for your question. All the way from the Netherlands, uh, it's greatly appreciated that you're a part of this family, the podcasting golf family here with us. And just for your participation, you're going to get the official bonnet glove. Now you can get one as well, even if you're in the Netherlands. We even had an email coming from Scotland. So, so you're going to get, we, we send these all around the world. So if you'd like to participate, please send your emails, podcast at bonnetgloves.com. Make sure you name, full name, mailing address, question, uh, what size glove, and whether you're right or left-handed. You do all that, and we'll send you a glove if we use the question. Please tell all your buddies. Please leave us feedback on iTunes and in YouTube. Please keep sending the email. And if you're going to get a glove, please make sure it's a bonnet glove. Now let's go join Barry on the course to see how we can address this week's question in the Bonnet Glove Hands-On Golf Podcast. Eric, so here we are at Crescent Hill Golf Course in Louisville, Kentucky, out on our number two hole. And your example given was that you've been working on a kind of a flop shot because when you short side yourself, you don't have much grain to work with. Now, lesson number one, and I work with all of my students on this, do your best when the pin is cut on the left side of the grain aim your ball as much as you can at the right center of the green. Then as you get better and better and better, you can work that ball to where you're hitting at a little bit of a right to left movement on the shot and you can play it at the right side of the green, drawing the ball to the left with a little hook. But you want to give yourself planning wise and strategy wise room on the other side of the green. It's trying to stay away from this last resort type of a shot because this, this flop shot, if executed absolutely perfectly, will come off well. But how many times do we do things absolutely perfect? But with a flop shot, I want to give you two options on shots, okay? Either one, you must commit to 100%. You've got to commit on the shot. So first thing I would tell you, let's don't plan on knocking this ball in the hole. Let's plan on, if we, make, if we hit this shot, let's plan on somewhere... 10 feet, 12 feet, either side of the hole, and then we'll hope we make the putt, okay? We want to be very realistic. Now, the number one thing people do wrong on this type of a shot, a flop shot, is they decelerate the club. They get afraid to keep the club moving. So I want, I'm going to set up with my 60 degree wedge with the club face about where it's, you know, about with its true loft. I might open it just a little bit. And then I'm going to try to swing the club. And once I come up here, I'm going to let my body turn to the left naturally. It's just going to turn. And I'm going to try to swing my arms and turn my chest to my target. And so what I want to do is I want to allow this club face to swing freely. I'm keeping my weight predominantly on my, or about centered or so. But I want to be sure my weight shifts and I let my chest turn. So here's the shot. like so, and that's about four feet from the hole. That was a great shot, but I don't always hit it well like that. There's a lot of variables. 
this shot, it's very easy to come up a little early and hit a skull shot. It's easy to watch Tiger Woods on television and see someone who plays for a living, and they, put, they come off great, but there are other times I've even seen him miss it. So one other option, I'm going to grab a different club here. Now I've got a 7-iron to try. Well, that's a funny place for it. Sometimes chipping d doesn't work, but I need to practice and try to get it through or on a hill or through some grass, and I'm going to commit to this to be 10 feet the other side of the hole. And that's about 12 feet the other side of the hole. I would call that a successful shot. There's much, uh, much less tendency to mess this shot up than that lob shot. Work with both of those. On that lob shot, you keep that club moving regardless. If you take it back this far, try to come through this far. But I would recommend closer to the ground is going to be much more forgiving. Keep the club moving either way and commit 100% to that shot. For more information, get with your PGA golf professional. Thanks for supporting Bionic. Hey everybody, this is Chaz from the Bonnie Gloves Hands-On Golf Podcast. I just want to talk to you here briefly for a moment because I'm asking for you to send me something. If you have videos of you swinging the golf club and you want us to use those in a podcast, send them to us. Send, them, send us a link. Or even better, you can actually send us to YouTube. Wherever you've got a video of you swinging the golf club and not only do you want to swing the club, you want to ask us the question as well. So please do that. Remember, send emails to podcast at bonnetgloves.com. Remember, you can send us the video files or you can send us a link. Links are preferable because they're not big and all that stuff. So this is going to be pretty cool. This is some stuff where we want to advance on this podcast where you, you become even a bigger part of it. So thank you, and I'll see you on the next Bonnet Gloves Hands-On Golf Podcast.